Do you know what? I think I think we should start this with a shameless plug. Okay? A shameless plug. Yeah. Well, a couple of weeks ago, we asked our listeners to like rate us on iTunes and Spotify and stuff oh, yeah. like that, yeah. And quite a few people did and we've got a lot of ratings. Do you know if only forty more people, four zero more people on iTunes rate us five stars, we will be on the front page of iTunes for gaming forever. All right. Well, How good is that? Yeah, if that is pretty people, amazing. Though. That is a shameless plug, but um, if you want to help us and you want to help the podcast, um, especially as excellent podcast, as hello. it is, yeah, hello, <laughs> 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 welcome to the Special <laughs> Podcast. We've started with a, with a shameless plug as promised. Um, yeah, if you want to review us on iTunes, yeah, then we're we're, we're about forty votes away from yeah. being the front page of the podcast section on iTunes it, globally. Yeah. for gaming, mm-hmm. we'll be right there next to your boys. IGN, yep. fucking critical role and all Which that. Which would be a massive, massive help for us in, in growing the audience yeah. and stuff and getting mm-hmm. more people listening and, and, and watching. And if, if you, you like Would to you watch. have ever felt so powerful that you yeah. have got us on the front page, man? You see us on there and you go, I did that's that. That's me, yeah. yeah we only need like, me. honestly, 40 more. We'll be there. We'll be nice to get ACG and all that. Yeah, that was such a rambling, messy appeal. But bottom line, please review us on iTunes or Spotify. Mm-hmm. All Hello right. and welcome to the Special Moves Podcast. Any podcast service, really. <laughs> this is episode 19. My name's Mike. 2019, baby. Got that one, it. Perfect. That's too perfect. This is the first podcast that we're recording in 2019. Yeah. And it's want, episode 19. It's even more perfect as nice. well, yeah. On. The last one we did of 2018. Well, of course, was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was, yeah. Of course it was, yeah. That is yeah. how numbers work. Um, but I, I don't know, because we're not, in that case, we're not counting the Christmas special. Are we? No, we, we didn't the, number that one. And the, you know, the other one, the New no. Year special. So this is back to normal service now. So this yeah. is podcast episode 19. Usual format, same old structure in it. Same old I forgot boys. if I've introduced you or not, so I'll just do it again. It's a regular cast. Mike, Jake, Liam, you know, what's, you know what the deal is. You know what's good, baby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, today we're going to talk about a few news items, just a small handful, I guess. Um, I'm using my phone today, if you're watching, because um, that's where my notes are. My laptop crapped out on me. So I'm not on my phone. I'm not checking yeah, people think Twitter and that. that you just people think Instagram. I re- people think I'm just asking a question and I just don't give a shit what your answers are. <laughs> and I'm just Cliff Blazinski, when's the musical? Yeah, coming? yeah. What's that? What's that? Yeah, yeah. Cheers, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just having a look at the having a look at my phone. Uh, so we're gonna be talking about the Steam top 250 uh, most played, but basically only the top 10 because they released the 250. Nothing else matters really out of top 10, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, this is like the annual list, right? That the Steam mm-hmm. that Valve puts out every year to show what the most popular games are on Steam. So we'll talk about that. There's a new Alien game coming it's been teased kind of thing we'll talk about that a little bit and also hitman hd collection which is bundling a couple of uh yeah hitman games uh, mm-hmm. together also we've got ds special moves of course where we read out your emails which are some very nice ones this week and the new games for the week which believe it or not uh the very start of the year in january there's there's, mm-hmm. there's a few games coming out um Get so christmas money what did you play over christmas guys what games were you playing quite a lot of games actually me too it was very nice not many new ones I'm not that many surprisingly no no or I'm just forgetting what I actually played did you play a short amount of games but for a long amount of time as uh, in did you play any MMOs I did play two MMO type games there you go there's your problem and some other smaller ones I guess right okay yeah what did you play I played well I'll start with the story-ish ones I played Resident Evil 7 again right just cause I felt like it. Get ready for the new Resident Evil. Yep. Like well, yeah. And look, 7 still holds up. Still a great game. Yeah. I would highly recommend it. You'd expect it. it to hold up because it only came out last, last year. year. <laughs> exactly, yeah. 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 I still enjoyed it as, you know, I've played, this would be like the eighth time I've played it. Something yeah. like that. Some, yeah, because you were running it through. Yeah, like, I was trying to speed run it and shit. Yeah. But it was that was fun. I had a good time playing through that. Did you do it quickly? Were you trying to like, were you just About like. five, six hours for the main right. story it was. Okay. Yeah, and it's not a very long game, is it? It's no, not, it's... It's, and if you know what you're doing, exactly. you can pretty much... It's down to that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's like memorising the puzzles and yeah. stuff like that. The first time you play, it's all a bit tense, and you're, you're, like, you're yeah, not sure which Yeah, struggling to figure out what yeah. you need to do. Exactly. How you escape from the, yeah. the unstoppable villains and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so you had fun playing that. I did, and then I played Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, which is that terrible, terrible uh, third-person shooter yeah, tactical remember. one. Yeah, I remember that. I don't know why, I just felt like booting it up again. <laughs> and then I you used the flame, a, a game yeah. that you used the word terrible twice to, yeah. <laughs> to describe. It's, it's not a you great. Felt the call. It's got Resident Evil fever, right? You, yeah, you, yeah. You just I wanna... think it probably, yeah, it probably is that. And then 
Uh, I played some Destiny. Played a bit of that. Played some Forsaken. That was yep. fun. Yeah, we we played a bit of co op Destiny. Uh, which was what did we do? Did we do strikes or did we do yeah, strikes? A bit of PvP. Yeah, we which did some like gaming nice. type stuff. Yeah, which is one of the things I was most looking forward to getting back into yeah. Destiny mm-hmm. to Forsaken. Yeah, um, I I did manage to finish Forsaken, like all the story, the story stuff. Yeah, that, it was good. Yeah, I well, had a good time with that. I did. I cleared up Warmind. And, yeah, um, I did Warmind as well. Yeah, uh, and and so now I can do the Forsaken stuff. Yeah, uh, which mm-hmm. is what my next sort of job yeah. is. Um, I like Destiny a lot. I'm on it's like, good. It's yeah, good. like hunting down the fucking seven boys. That's it. Because I did War Man's Wire. I don't think that's them. quite how they phrase it. In, I think the in Barons the or something, are they? Yeah. I can't remember what they were called. Even some of the other words you used, they're hunting down the fucking barons, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> doesn't quite. <laughs> but so I'm at that point now where yeah. it's literally just markers on a map, go and get this one, go and get this yeah. one, go and get this yeah. one. So that's where I'm on Destiny 2. I only played it for a couple of days and then I played it with you for one day. Yeah. And that mm-hmm. was it. It's, uh, I, I, my return to it has been very welcome. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And uh, it feels right, man. It feels, it feels like coming <laughs> home. It, fe- it feels, yeah, it feels perfect. It feels it like, it's, I've, I'm really enjoying the Warmind stuff, to be honest. Mm. But well, I have to point out that I didn't buy Warmind um, initially, which is the second then. expansion, yeah. because it just came with yeah. uh, Forsaken. If I had bought Warmind mm. for seventeen pounds, yeah. would I have enjoyed it so much? I don't know. Probably, <laughs> Probably not. not. Probably not. Exactly. Uh, yeah. so, so, what else have you been playing? Then? Uh, I play. I started playing Warframe after oh, yeah. Yeah. many many years of people telling me to play it. I finally started it, and it's good. It, it is, is good. It's, yeah. it's a fun game. Yeah, it's very especially. solid. Yeah, it's like Space Ninjas. What's not to like about Space Ninjas? What are you playing it on? You playing it on PC? I'm playing it on PC. It's on everything. It's on Switch. It's on, it's on, Switch, it's on everything bar mobile, really. Yeah, uh, it, it, I think it feels really solid, and mm-hmm. um, it's very, you know exactly like Destiny. If, if it didn't feel good to chop and shoot stuff, yeah. The uh, movement is really good in Warframe. Yeah, it is. Lots of acrobatic moves yeah. you can pull off. Very cool. fast, isn't it? Very fast, yeah. It's just like skating around, really, a lot of the time. Yeah, uh, and it's got... um, It's just solid mission structure and everything. Yeah. Like, sort of co-op, drop-in, instance-type missions. Yeah. And it's just fun to play. It's mm. just like... And it's got a nice gameplay loop to it. It's one of those games where you boot it up for like an hour or two a day. Yeah. Right. And then, yeah, they're just like, have a quick go, do a few missions, and like, that's me for the night. Yeah. And, and it's free to play. And it's like, free, the, yeah. The, the people who, who champion this game and have done for ages, years at this point, I, def- I definitely see where they're coming from. Mm-hmm. I definitely know yeah. what they're Considering, on. Considering, again, crucially... It's free. It is yeah. free. It costs nothing to play it. And there's a load of stuff to do in it, especially if you start it now. Yeah. Because of how many updates they've yeah. put in it. Like they put a whole open world area in yeah. it since it came out. Yeah. It's had, so it's had a very strong mm-hmm. development, um, which was happening in parallel to Destiny 2's quite. Flopping around. Yeah. It, it, you know, the, the development of Destiny 2 has been very troublesome up until Forsaken, which is arguably the big redemption story Got it, yeah. um, it is it is like a carp that's been caught by a fisherman and it's on the it's on the okay. it's, I'm playing red dead redemption <laughs> right, and it's okay. on, it's in a boat and it's like flopping around and it's sometimes it flops into the water and you're like great you're in the water you've done it you've yeah. done it the fish is in the water you've no need to flop anymore don't flop the, hey whoa destiny stop flopping stop flopping and mm. it flops back into the boat Mm-hmm. But as a fisherman, aren't you wanting the fish to be out of the water? I'm in from the fish's perspective. Oh, okay, right, right. right. I'm see, from I the see. vegan perspective. I see. <laughs> Veganuary, whatever. <laughs> no, mate, no, I need that bacon, mate. I need... uh, yeah, yeah. The, the just have just seeing it like it just sometimes seems to be perfect. Like uh, okay. at the moment, it's the carp, the carp thing. Listen, I've hey, got to tell you, hey, it's a welcome. bit stretched, but I like it. I like, hey, stretch I, nothing. That's a, that's an excellent <laughs> metaphor. Yeah, uh, if you do say so yourself. Yeah. And so, and Warframe is what the golden sword. Warframe fish? is just yeah, it's just like an eel. It doesn't even flop. It's it just, just gracefully yeah. bounds. It's, it's, where it's, it it's an eel that's looking at the bait and it's going. Oh, that's obviously fishing bait, isn't it? <laughs> it's just uh, yeah. I I don't know how much more I can do with that, but it, it, I I think that it's um it just goes from being like in an excellent state to being in a really annoying yeah. state and it just kind of ha- it happens before you know it it's like yeah. you think everything's great and then you're like oh, hang on a minute this is 
this is unfair, this isn't working. Why is this broken yeah. in the Crucible? Why is everyone using the same weapon? It's like, it just kind of happens. Well, yeah, mm-hmm. and we got Destiny 1 like that, and then we got Destiny 1 how it should have been, Yeah. and then they made Destiny 2, and we got to relive this- the heartbreak <clears throat> all over again. And we still got a couple of years on the 10-year plan, yeah. so now that mm-hmm. Destiny 2 is in a good state, we can expect feels good, this though. year to see the announcement of Destiny 3, build everyone's hope up, trash think- them all, yeah. and eventually we'll get that into yeah. a good state. We'll get Destiny 3 next gen, or they'll do a PS4... PS5, yeah, like, like they struggled. did with Destiny yeah. One, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, because I I didn't play that on, I, I I if I remember rightly I got it as a launch thing for if I remember for rightly PS4. my first game on PS4 it was one of my first yeah yeah it uh, came out like a year after the PS4 did I think yeah, yeah I, when I say launch when I got because I didn't get yeah. a PS4 straight yeah. away yeah um, I got mine bundled for the, for and with Destiny. yeah yeah so um, I didn't I didn't get it on the on the previous gen anyway uh, you have been playing anything else. Uh, Final Fantasy fourteen again. I renewed my subscription, getting back into it because I've got too much to play, and I've got to catch up on both the expansions. Right. Before the third expansion comes out this year. Yeah. So I've got a lot of Final Fantasy to play. Yeah. Mm. But I've been enjoying it. It's just like I like sinking time into an MMO every so often, and this is my MMO of choice. I do. Yeah. It does. It. It just kind of grabs you sometimes, doesn't it? An, an MMO kind of mm-hmm. experience where you yeah. just want to. You just want to build your character and explore the world mm-hmm. and stuff. And uh, I can't remember the last time I played an actual full fat MMO. Mm-hmm. Probably like Lord of the Rings Online, I think. I, th- I played that for a bit. Uh, I really liked that, but mm-hmm. I, yeah, I can't. I can't. Re- I can't really remember. I think mine was Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, my brother when it so, came out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you guys play the Old Republic at all? The Star Wars one. Star no, Wars, I don't think it? I ever tried it. It was just. I played. It's I played, still going though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was good because of the because the storytelling was good in it. Like mm-hmm. for for an MMO, yeah. and they yeah. were all like all the characters were like animated and mm-hmm. and you know voiced and stuff. And so that was quite cool. But otherwise, it was just I don't know. There was a, there was too many weaknesses in it. I think. Yeah. Uh, oh, the other thing that I did that was cool was the different um, starting perspective. So you had like, yeah. uh, you know, you could, depending on what class and what race yeah. and what dark mm-hmm. or light side you chose and stuff, you had different origin stories, which was cool. And I replayed yeah. like two of them yeah. yeah, to see what, you know, and it was totally different, completely different. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Box standard that now, isn't it? On an uh, MMO uh, these days. It's yeah, so it is now. Yeah. Don't do it. Exactly. You know? But otherwise, I felt like I was just playing World of Warcraft, but Star Wars again. And uh, yeah. that's probably the worst take of all time, but that's how I felt. So, all right. That's so, not the box, that. What? World of Warcraft, but Star Wars. <laughs> but Star Wars. Uh, so, Liam, you've been playing a ton of stuff by the sounds of it. Yeah, uh, that's what I can remember. Yeah. Like, I just can't remember what I play. It's all been a haze this Christmas. A haze of food and, and games. Mm-hmm. And uh, Jake, what have you been playing? Lots of things, but I don't know if many of them are new and notable. Uh, I got Below, been playing that. Oh, yeah? Looking forward to telling you about it's that on Thursday's show. Of, oh, yeah? Yeah, it's like the longer waited. I think it was five or seven. I can't remember. One of them. It numbers. was announced with the Xbox One. Yeah. Yeah, so years in the making. Yeah. And it just came out. That kind of snuck yeah, out. Yeah, Xbox One came out 2013 or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, so six so it's been years a while. actually. Yeah. yeah. And it, yeah, it just snuck out over Christmas. They put it on Game Pass as well, uh, having just recently gotten an Xbox. Uh, I got it on the Game Pass. Uh, also available on PC, right? But if I'll get it on the Game Pass. And uh, yeah, I'll talk more about that on the Thursday show. I don't okay. want to go into it now, but I'll just throw that out the window there. I also was playing Cuphead. Uh, on the old, uh, thing. which has got quite a nice novelty value, you know, when you have the old uh, the family round and that over the Christmas time, yeah. showing um, my other half's dad like the, the an- animation difficult. style yeah. of it, and he was like, "Oh, it's cool, like an old cartoon and stuff like that." And yeah. you know, older people will be like into that because you know you can get the gimmick straight away. Yeah. You get the gimmick. Yeah. It's like one of those cartoons, like Betty Boop yeah. or whatever. And then you've got Dark Souls Three, which I've recently been playing. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Listen, I don't know what it is, but. Out of all these games looking at me, I want to play Dark Souls. I didn't even have it installed. I had to go on. And, and I just want... You know you love it. Yeah, so. yeah I want that warmth of the fucking constant of suffering and, <laughs> uh, you know, stabbing people in the back. Yeah. But I, I got a uh, Fable installed. That's probably been my most played single-player game, yeah. this, uh, apart from Kingdom, which I covered on the Thursday show, so that's exempt from this discussion. But, uh, yeah, Fable 1. Uh, it was on Game Pass again, Fable 1, 2, and 3. I downloaded Fable 1 and 2. 3 didn't get a look in. And Fable One, I've been playing it. Um, where Fable, you were playing, of course, on the Xbox One that um, 
Yeah, again. Stu, our patron, our patron bought Stu. for special moves, <laughs> yeah, mentioning pre- that again because of how unbelievably kind and amazing it was. Uh, got, so yeah, we can it. play Xbox. I've been playing. I spent so much time on the Xbox already, so I'm already. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was. It's like a, you know, when you get a new console with a Game Pass, right? The Game Pass is so good. That's just something that me and Jake talk about because of the. You know, because well, we're, we're, we haven't got Xboxes mm-hmm. until now, and, and Liam, you've, I've been living that life for about exactly. a year now. And, you, and you've, Game Pass you've just life. quietly been going, yeah, you can get that on Game Pass. Yeah. And, I, and, I rem- and I'm now remembering like a, some kind of you know flashback, like a you know like a character kind of realizing all along that the truth <laughs> the truth was being whispered yeah, into yeah, your ear exactly. all along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm remembering all the times that Liam said, yeah, you can get that on Game Pass. Yeah. <laughs> right. So you get an Xbox now, you get a month of Xbox Game Pass, which if you're totally unfamiliar, is like a a library of games. There's like over a hundred yeah. games, almost two hundred games. I think I have a look, quick look. Mm-hmm. Um, Getting bigger every month as yeah, well. Yeah, adding games all the time. Kind of like Netflix, you can download. Crucially, you can download all the games. Mm-hmm. It's not a streaming thing no. like PlayStation Now. PlayStation Now, you can download PS4 games now, yeah. um, but all the backwards compatible ones like PS3 and stuff, yeah, you, you can't. But on this, you can download your Xbox 360 games and, and all that. Yeah, um, going all the way back to the original yeah. Xbox. Man's yeah, Old Republic's on there. Stuff like yeah, that. and and you get so what you get is that feeling of when you get a new console, which I love. Like when you're at the end of the generation, this is how I've always done it. I've just had one console, and then when the generation's coming to an end, I'll get the other console, and I've got all these games that yeah. I weren't wasn't able yeah. to play before exactly. that I can jump into. Except there's no monetary barrier in the way at the moment, except for the Game Pass. Exactly. So there's like yeah. hundreds of there's literally almost two hundred mm-hmm. games that I can go. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. Yeah. So I've downloaded about five hundred gigabytes of, yeah, <laughs> of game yeah, data. Exactly. Download Gears of War Four. Did you? Gears of, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. It's exactly that. But imagine that feeling. But then you just download in games that you played ten years ago. Yeah. Because I'm like Oblivion. Yeah. Fable. <laughs> I mean, I got I downloaded, that's, that's, I downloaded that's City it. Skylines below Oblivion, Fable. Yeah. Um, Vermintide Two, PUBG. Yeah. And I've just spent all my time on Fable, and I'm going to be playing Oblivion next. I've been loving Fable, but do you know what? Apart from Kingdom, the most played game that I've done this Christmas is Mario Party, which is uh, actually. A lot more popular than I first. Gone down very well with the family, that wasn't it? <laughs> it has, yeah. yeah. So I didn't actually own Mario Party. My sister did, and I just assumed it while they visited on Christmas. Yeah. You know, I'll get to play their copy, and then that's it. I'll get sick of it. The novelty wears off. Bada bing, bada boom. It's out of here. Get out of here. But no, in fact, I got it as a Christmas present, and I, my other half of my daughter have been asking to play it every night. Yeah. Every night, that board game feeling, and then you explore the sort of other modes of it, which are normally sort of bolted on crap. <laughs> but in Mario Party, it's really cool. There's like a river mode, and you have to sail down this river to do a series of mini games. So it's not the it's not the mini games that have that are studded throughout a, a board game. This yeah. time, you're doing like this river thing where there's so multiple it's just frames issues. differently. Yeah, but yeah. you've got this like yeah. time trial. You've got to try and get to the end of the river before the time runs out. You can play pure mini games as mm. um, there's things you can collect in other modes as well. You can play so like you get a lot of mileage out of uh, Mario, Mario Party. Party. Yeah, yeah cool. we've been playing it loads. Um, just there's still some mini games I haven't played yet, but we've done all of the boards. And when you do all the boards, you unlock another board. There's a two-player co-op yeah. um, Ma- Mario Party system now as well. Yeah. So like rather than just you know, free for all, you can do it in teams. And that's a different game mode in itself because yeah. rather than follow like a linear path like a board game, you can kind of pick where you go. So yeah, Mario Party weirdly has been probably the game I've played the most. I, I've got I a bit think it makes it. total sense. Like Mario Party over Christmas makes, yeah. you know, if everyone is, it, not only is everyone around, but they kind of fancy doing stuff like that as well. Mm-hmm. So it just makes, you know, they yeah. want to play games and stuff. And uh, Yeah, but... Every no, day, no one ever. didn't think. I didn't think it was gonna be every day. Like, <laughs> yeah. do you know what I mean? I thought it would be like the cards against humanity, good for one day, and then yeah. fuck it off for the year. No, every day. So <clears> anyway, <throat> uh, yeah, I've been playing a bit. I got Hitman Two, played a bit of Hitman Two as well. Uh, I'm enjoying that, but for some reason, I'm just being stupid and just like playing games I've had played. Play I know, before. I know what you mean. You, you you said it the other day where you've got choice paralysis, which I have. I have all the time. I I really yeah. have a hard time deciding what yeah. to play, and I either end yeah. up not playing anything and watching. Yeah, a film or shite telly, 
or I play something familiar, which is what you've done. <laughs> yeah, and, <laughs> is... I don't, and I don't often do that, and that's yeah. crucial because I, I've never really done that But before. have you ever had this much... Tw- you've got a PlayStation 4 with new games on it that want your attention. You've got an Xbox One with 200 games on the Game Pass. You've got a Nintendo Switch with loads of games that are like family-friendly and stuff. Exactly. You're just drowning in options. Yeah, <laughs> so, so I'm playing like... Uno and Dark Souls 3. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I fucking am. I downloaded a demo for Uno on the Switch. Yeah. What am I doing? Yeah. But yeah, I, I'm playing like bits and bobs. It's like fucking video game tapas, mate. Run around, chomp, 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 chomp. A little buffet if you want to be fucking, you know what I mean? Don't want to be international about it, whatever. I'm just going around nibbling away. But Fable... It's it, very interesting that you went tapas before buffet. Video game. <laughs> yeah, because it's more exciting. Uh, yeah, and, and, it's, or and it's middle class. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mentioned I've got a balcony. Um, yeah, I've got this fucking. Uh... <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Because it's true. Yeah, Jake's got a balcony. I have, yeah. Um, I've got a fable for some reason. I keep going back to, and I don't know. I, do you know what I genuinely think it is? Yeah, to get personal about it. I think it's just because I'm working a lot. And when I'm playing games at the moment, I, yeah. I just want to play someone I'm familiar with. Oh, I, I totally it's get that. It's the comfort yeah. eating of video games. No, it is. It's, so Fable, especially because it's all the nice British accents. And, you know, I'm kind of in the back of my mind anticipating a new Fable is going to yeah. be uh, coming out soon. So fucking, it's been, yeah. it's get, been getting better. I said the word Twader by accident the other day, you know. Oh yeah, at the beginning of Twader. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So Sean, you said Twader by accident, <laughs> <laughs> not playing the game, and Sean laughed at me because he thought I was doing an impression of the trader. That's class. I know. So it's been getting. So the roots are going deep. When and... did you need to say trader? <laughs> I don't know, Sean. Sean, do you want a bit of rogue yeah. Twader? <laughs> yeah. Ah, Sean, she'll tell you. But uh, yeah, flipping. Um, yeah, it's been getting into my head, and and it's nice. Yeah. So that means. Uh, and I, that's probably why I'm playing Dark Souls. It's probably why Liam's playing Resident Evil. Mm-hmm. I think subconsciously yeah. we're preparing for the new stuff coming out this yeah. year. And what about you? What are you I've uh, thank you very much for asking. I've played a lot of stuff, um, but it, it's it's kind of like you really. But both of you, like I just come been jumping from different things because I've had the time. I've had two weeks off work to to just yeah. you know do, play games and that, which is which is nice. Um, but I played. I finished Red Dead Redemption Two. That's the big headline. That is uh, I played a bit of that as well. I forgot to mention that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You put, you put, um, it, 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 it's very difficult to talk about without without spoiling. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it, it, it's uh, I don't I don't want to say I, I don't want to start chucking words around about it as well without really and I can't really do it without justifying it yeah. by explaining what it is. But then if you do that, then it's spoiler spoilerish type stuff. Mm-hmm. All I can really say, I think, is that it wasn't it wasn't the 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 game I was kind of hoping it would be. Yeah. Um, because of how much, how many times you shoot people in the head, and for a man who loves Destiny Two and Destiny One before it, and the Division, yeah. Halo, Call of Duty, yeah. many games, Hell, many, 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 many games, many games with lots of head shooting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It became it, it. In this, I was like, oh, more, more headshots, yeah. and that the amount of headshots. In the game specifically, contrasts very starkly with the story and the main and what the main character says in the story. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it's like. Yeah, we went about that earlier, but like this, the yeah, there's one point where you question somebody killing somebody. Yeah. Minor character, you know, uh, you Dutch the leader of your gang. Yeah, it's not a spoiler to say no, there are deaths. You, you, in it. Exactly. Yeah, Dutch the Dutch leader of your gang, and you are on a mission. Dutch kills somebody. Yeah. And then your guys like. You know, why Arthur? Uh, Dutch, hail Dutch! Yeah, you you kill that person, yeah. and the, fresh and after killing, you're totally right. Hundred people. I, I, you, you said that to me, and then I can remember very anecdotally, very specifically, a conversation between Dutch and Arthur yeah. that was happening during gameplay, not a cinematic cutscene. Mm-hmm. That was interrupted by me going into Dead Eye to headshot <laughs> about six <laughs> people, yeah. and then it finishes, yeah. and then Arthur finishes the yeah. sentence. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sorry, Dutch, I couldn't hear your explanation <laughs> of killing people yeah. over all the shooting. Yeah, yeah. And, and Liam, you pointed out that there's a lot of hot takes coming out over there is, yeah, thing yeah. because people are finishing it, mm-hmm. journalists are finishing it and stuff. One of them is a person saying there's a lot in Red Dead Redemption that doesn't actually matter, mm-hmm. and I don't know if that's how I would word it. Yeah. Like, but because it, you know, because the game doesn't matter. You either want to play it or you don't. And, yeah, and because it's entertainment, it's entertainment. Yeah. And if you find some entertainment in the the pointless fishing, the pointless hunting, I didn't do hardly any hunting near the end. I just didn't need to do it. And, no. and I did quite a bit of fishing towards the end. And that's 
quite relaxing. Because it was, a nice it was quite relaxing. Yeah. So it's there if you want it, and it's a mm-hmm. cowboy simulator, and yeah. it is a bit Westworld in the sense that you can go and do whatever cowboyish thing you want to do, right? Mm-hmm. But it, it, it at the same time, it's just there's it's such a huge game, which when you really think about what you actually do in it, there's only about three things that you do in the story, especially. You're, you're either riding a horse from A to oh. B. Saying, whoa, girl. You, no, <laughs> no, but that comes under riding a horse from A to B. You're either riding a horse from A to B, you're either... Um, Listening to Dutch telling you he's got a plan. Have some goddamn faith. In terms of gameplay, <laughs> just, just in terms of gameplay, yeah. 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 <laughs> Quit the belly aching. Arthur, yeah. <laughs> yeah. At compl- least at 10 hours of the game is Dutch shouting about yeah. Tahiti. Dutch complains, <laughs> Dutch complains about Arthur's complaining more than Arthur complains. Yeah. Uh, so and yet it's fucking true. That's uh, and I'm talking about John abandoning people. It, it, it's a lot of that. There's um yeah, so there's just a lot of stuff in there that I I just don't think is good quality stuff. It's just not as good like game. It's not very good gameplay. Yeah. Is what is what is the only way I can put it. Could have done with a bit of a trim, I guess. A bit of a trim. It could have done with more like the shooting mechanics. Uh, they're just exactly what was in GTA 4, really. I mean, it's yeah. not like it's. it's there was uh, a, I can't remember who made it, but there was a big like video essay thing out not long ago about the game design in Red Dead, which had quite a lot of good points in it. Right. Just I saying, like, how that. Rockstar's game design hasn't really changed yeah. since the PS2 days. No. Uh, I no. know what you're on about. I saw that. It hasn't. Yeah. They've added it. it. Belland on a medicine ball. I can't remember. Yeah, he was well, sitting on. Me- he's doing. A, I don't know if he was doing, Bellend, He was but... doing a video. Well, he's on a medicine ball. So, but he was, yeah. he was sitting on a medicine ball doing a thing. I'm sure he's a nice guy. Draw your own conclusions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He made so, some, he made some very good points. He did. Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. I know who it was. It was Nakey Jakey. That was it. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. His name's Nakey Jakey. He was sitting on a medicine ball. Okay. Whether he's a band or not, that's up to you. But yeah, he did do a. 20- is this the start of like a, a diddle? Is this <laughs> yeah. a, his name is Nakey Jakey? He was <laughs> on the medicine on ball. ball. <laughs> yeah, it's actually an old folk song that. But yeah, that was that was yeah. very interesting. That and he he took the fucking internet on that. Yeah, yeah. It was blown up everywhere. That was on everyone's recommendation. Oh, okay. Sure, I more people that. than not would have who were watching this would have. So seen it was that. he broadly negative or broad like was he it just? Was, it was more. I wouldn't say he was like overly negative or anything. No, he was just no like, but, just, but, but like generally, was he criticizing or was he? Not saying, angry, he, just he was just disappointed. Yeah, just like pointing out how they've got like this amazing open world. Yeah. but the game design and mission structure. Yeah. It's like yeah, yeah. It's vastly outdated. That's basically yeah. how how yeah. I feel. The story doesn't. It didn't surprise. There's one or two good surprises in there. Uh, kind of what what happens to Arthur and stuff uh, yeah. through the course of the story, mm-hmm. which I quite liked. And there was and and yeah. the 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 very last words that are spoken right before you see the final end credits mm-hmm. are excellent. I re- it's yeah. a great little bit of like ironic. I'm smiling because I don't know where they are, so I'm just imagining it is but- easy, girl. Again, I'll, t- I'll tell you that. if you want after this, okay? I'll <laughs> okay. tell you after, but it's it's very minor. But I, that's the kind of thing I like. I just I just mm. tend to, and then there's a couple of really small mo- moments where Arthur speaks to an NPC who he's maybe has been a stranger mission or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but is you, that the one by the train? Yes. Yep. I and I one. and I love that. Mm-hmm. That's actually my favorite moment. It's a great moment, that yeah. My favorite moment in the game that, and it's it's quite incidental, really. Well, it's not incidental. It does matter to how Arthur's perspective changes and stuff, but. You know, there are just conversations that are good in it. Is the, mm-hmm. is the point? Um, but yeah, it's as a game, the gameplay experience wasn't amazing. And the 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 way that what really underlined that for me was when I fired up Hitman Two for the first time, having just completed Red Dead Redemption right right to the end. Mm-hmm. I was like, I was absolutely enamored with Hitman Two straight away. I flipping loved it. Like the gate, you just, like my brain just kind of lit up when I was playing it. I was I was so excited by what it was doing mm-hmm. and it was like you you just kind of get this like sandbox feeling of like there's a there's a problem here you need to kill that person <laughs> right <laughs> solve it it's with death do it yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah but then you could so you could just kick the ball down shoot them run away yeah but what's the fun in that right what is the fun in that and it's like the, it's a master class of making Red Dead redemption isn't it Exactly. You just, you just, yeah, bullet time, shoot them all, but yeah. But this is like a, Hitman 2 is like a masterclass in making your own fun. Because, you know, the game encourages you to try stuff out and stuff by giving you challenges and, and there's, mo- you can, the whole point of Hitman is that, you know, you can replay it and redo the level and do things in a different way. And, yeah. And the way that the Hitman 2 uh, frames that, very much like the 2016 one, I guess, is it just, it just says, why don't you try this? Why don't you try this? Why don't you yeah. try this? And mm-hmm. then you, and then it gives you little like breadcrumbs to follow, and it's really good fun. And I absolutely, I had so much fun playing Hitman Two that I can that kind of underlined to me how 
how much I was like just doing <coughs> headshots in <Yeah. laughs> Red Dead Redemption Two. I was just walking, sneaking, headshotting. Yeah, and I, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It just it, it, the, the, something needs to happen in Rockstar game design mm. to push it forward. I think because it's mm-hmm. done it for me. It peaked with Red Dead Redemption One, probably for a lot of people with GTA Five. But this, I, yeah, it, it has to do something else now. You can't just add, you know, horse maintenance and and cowboy simulation to make yeah. it interesting. Because yeah, if you've it's still just, got hours of shooting. Because at the mm-hmm. end of the day, you're just creating a mechanic that's just driving you from A to B. Like yeah. Hitman, you have to play it to see what all the fuss is about. But I've played so much Red Dead Redemption Two now that I am very certain I've seen all the game has to offer in terms of what the gameplay mechanics yeah. are, right? Yeah. Unless, you know, he's gonna start flying halfway through it. So I'm tempted I could just look at a Wikipedia synopsis now and I can get the point. Yeah. You know, whereas whereas like this is what why we gave God of War our, you know, collective game of the year last year. Yeah. is because you you play it to get the experience was Red Dead Redemption you could read it and we talked about that yeah. a lot before mm-hmm. so interestingly you finished it and it's not you, you've not beco- you've not been converted it, it is not a bad game at all yeah. it's like if I had to score it which I hate doing but if I had to score it it would 100% be at least an 8 because it's an unbelievable technical achievement it looks yeah. incredible it's some of the most lifelike visuals I've ever seen uh, some, there's really good story stuff in there mm. um, and a lot of the gameplay is fun like at the very beginning of the game when there's a shootout and there's like, you, you shoot about six people, and I was like, oh man, that's that's you know if that's the way they do it, where a, a gunfight with six people is a huge deal, awesome. I'd rather there was like much fewer gunfights in it, but there's mm-hmm. a gunfight every twenty minutes, especially near the end. The the, the yeah. last the last ten hours, it, the the game ends with a ten hour gunfight, punctuated by rides through the wilderness. While there's a bit of music playing over yeah. there, they do the Jose Gonzalez Mexico trick about five times, and in between all of those, there's a gunfight. And that's mm-hmm. how this. That's a, you know. Yeah. And then it does. It, and then it kind of that, towards the end of Arthur's story, that's how it. That's how it kind of plays out. And then it. I don't know. It just needs something different. So I'll stop talking about Red Dead Redemption now, and start talking about Steam's. Top, oh shit! Top yeah, most yeah. played games. Oh, yeah, so I just mm-hmm. found this a minute ago. Yeah, it's weird because Steam every year do their um, like best games, and I'm not sure if it's because of the reviews for them or the time played or whatever. Yeah. Well, I am. It's because of the reviews, and I can tell you. Do you want me to tell you the top ten? Uh, like... Let's hit us with the top ten Steam games for 2018. Um, any anyone want to just guess one game that you think is going to be in the in the top ten? And bear in mind, it's just player reviews now. Okay. So player reviews. You know, like when you get the reviews of the game. Oh right. Like negative one. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So this isn't the most played. Nope. This is the ones with the highest reviews. The okay. most. Oh, reviews I totally got it wrong. In the with a high controllers. score. Right. Um, it's fine, man. Don't hmm. worry about it. Uh. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, what would be the most high? Because if it was most played, that would be. Do yeah. you do you want to know the top two hundred fifty ever made? Like, it's, yeah, to, I, I, of all time, the top five is just so you have got a bit of scope. Top five ever is Counter Strike, Factorio, Terraria, or Terraria, The Witcher Three, and Portal Two. Okay. So all with right. that being said, so of this year now. Yeah. What okay. you, Somehow the the I, most steam. You can just get one. Ever. And I'll just I've try. heard a lot of good things about Dusk, that uh, quake like indie oh, right. FPS game. Yeah. That's meant to be really good. Yeah. That's got a lot of praise. All right, I'll read them. Out. So that'll be my guess. That's my. Okay. Any any takers? No. Right. Number ten is uh, Neko Power Extra. It just looks like some hentai shit. Number nine is Gris. <laughs> Number... I, could, I would have said some hentai shit. Yeah. <laughs> Number nine is Gris. Uh, eight is Dusk. Seven is Return hey. of the Obra Din. So, yeah, nice one. Uh, number six is Dead Cells, <laughs> and then the top five, according to players, and this is because a lot okay. of people Dead Cells. I might have guessed a, that. a lot of people to listen to our. Oh, that's a game. I played Dead Cells over Christmas. Is yeah, you've both got yeah, Dead Cells that's recently. Good. I've been really enjoying that. Nice yeah. one. Um, so this is interesting because a lot of people who listen to our stuff and. Just a lot of people in general, you know, I I, I quite enjoy reading the critic reviews and yeah. reading articles, but, you know, I'm sure you guys are the same, you, you encounter a lot of people in real life, whether it's films or whatever, some form of entertainment, they care about people's vote, don't they? they yeah. Care about, yeah. I'm not talking Brexit, I'm talking fucking IMDB lists rather than fucking Rotten Tomatoes lists yeah. and shit. So, according to, pe- to players, not critics, these are the top five highest rated games on PC of 2018, so okay. here we go. Number five, Subnautica. Oh, number right. four, mm-hmm. Celeste. Yeah. Okay. Number yeah. three, Beat Saber. Nice. Yeah. I still well done, have... everyone. 
I still want to play that. You're not going to see this one coming. Number two, Mirror. Not heard of that. No, me neither. No. Sexual content warning. Some hentai shit. And okay. But apparently the best hentai shit on the market there. And number one. And, <laughs> and the number one. And this is a weird one because I have never played this. And uh, Mike avoided it because of the name. Uh, Liam, I don't know where you stand on this. Oh, but the number it? one highest rated game with 36,000 votes and 98% positive reviews is RimWorld. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, hang on a minute. That was... I didn't avoid it because of the name. I've, I've heard it. it's the RTS one, right? Sort that of like base building e kind of yeah, thing. strategy, it's... survival Listen, kind of thing. It's called Rimworld, right? So every time I, everyone, <laughs> any, em, yeah. like, anytime anyone recommends it, they have to go, they either make the joke, right? Or you yeah. just kind of go, <laughs> yeah. Not hem tash yet. Yeah, they just, I know, yeah. Rimworld, they, they do this, they go, Rimworld, no, honestly, no, honestly, yeah. it's really good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I know it's called Rimworld. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hear me out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's really interesting. I have that's never really met anyone who's played it, apart from, so, yeah, I, I don't know, I've got, I've got a friend, and in passing, she mentioned she was playing Rimworld, like, six months ago. Yeah. That was it, it seems like a game that was it. Like, like, no. yeah it seems like so it's like a re, like disaster yeah. management colony management sort yeah. of thing I guess as well and the conditions it just chucks yeah. out different conditions to you and stuff doesn't it like the, the, you know various you know variables I guess that you know that can go wrong and, and things that you'll have to yeah. deal with and uh, so I guess it is it does fall into that category of being a game that is pretty streamable because you just don't know yeah. what you're going to get every time and it's stuff, like something so. like Parkitect which has come out yeah. recently that's yeah. getting similar yeah. I remember seeing the name pop up everywhere because obviously you remember the name because you're like <laughs> and then uh, yeah I, I just it's just weird that a lot, a lot of people haven't played it who yeah. I know yeah. and a lot of people I know play games quite yeah. a lot so apart from like I say it's one friend of mine who plays Frostpunk and shit like Prison Architect yeah. so do you, do, you, do you ever rate games on Steam? because like, I never do it. I don't think I ever have I, have, never have. I rated uh, Binding of Isaac right when it came out right I tell you what's weird. I've rated a mod before. I've re- I can't oh. even remember what it was, but it was yeah. a Skyrim mod that I was like, "That's so good that it needs." You know, I need to do something in exchange. I really should do it more because I feel like, yeah, like I always say this, like on stuff at like TripAdvisor and just yeah. real world shit. If people who are happy with products don't rate them, like yeah. if it's like saying what I say, I always leave comments on YouTube, for positive comments, and obviously the people that leave comments, like they're important because mm-hmm. a. If you don't, the only people that are going to have their say are people that have got something to Plain moan it. about. Yeah. And be like, you know, a lot of people watch our podcasts. A lot of people watch our videos. The only people we are aware of are people that leave the comments. But yeah. like, someone mm-hmm. like you, you watch fucking shit loads of Mark Kermode. Have you ever left a review or left a no. comment or nothing no. like that? Exactly. It's just weird. I've, ra- I've rated, uh, um, I have rated a podcast, but not that one. It's, it's, and it was, it yeah. was like... It was. I can't even remember what it was. It was a. It was a rugby one. If it, it was our one, then we'd only have forty to go to run. What the hell was it? Um, Never mind. But I've. I've rated. Yeah. A, uh, it's just weird. I've, yeah. But it, it's usually like when yeah. it's some. It's it, it, something has to happen for me to to think. Yeah. Like something has to. I can see why you've done it with a mod, definitely, because you're probably thinking this, this needs free. to be noticed someone's, as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Someone's made this in their mm-hmm. own time, it's and, and it's free do. for me. Yeah. So that and yes, but with with games. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's, it's just you've got to be I really think that you, I should do more. Because no, you're I right. Feel, you are right. Should like, we get like special moves Steam creator page going? We need to. People, people, people have been asking. That was like one of the first really, things yeah. that I said when we were st- we were talking about this, Pe- and I've people had f- uh, totally left someone it. on Discord, had, our Patreon Discord had said like it was like two days ago about it. But I reckon we could. I yeah, reckon we, we should. Yeah, we should. Not not just could. We absolutely bloody should. So those are the top ten. Yeah, I, I would have seen Dead so, Cells coming, Celeste, Dead obviously. Cells, yeah. uh, oh, but then, but this is the thing, a lot of the, these are sort of like, you know, indie 2D games and mm. critics, like I didn't think... Indie darlings. Yeah, I thought like the, the people's vote would be something no, they, a bit... Got, well, I mean, of course we've got a hentai shit on, but like, yeah. you know, Dusk, stuff like that. Some game with um, a dong slider and crafting didn't yeah. make it in this year for but change. You, but when you get... The Rust. thing is, indies don't attract as much... Like hostility either because you might you're like if a triple A is really good, there's usually some protest yeah. shit going on. There's usually mm-hmm. some oh yeah. the unbalanced they microtransactions. Own, um, Steam did their reward thing, you know where mm. they give like yeah. platinum, yeah. gold, silver tier. I think that's got them more. See the but I think rated. that's like by gross revenue. Uh, that's how they measure that one. Yeah, yeah. So that's a bit of a. I'm different trying to find yeah. the exercise. highest rated triple mm. um, A. In the, the highest top. rated AAA, oh, like in the whole... I want to say it'd be something like Witcher 3, something like that. Oh. Witcher 3, Portal 2. Still this released. year. Um, oh, this year. Okay. Are they yeah. new, these are all new releases? 
uh, from this year. Yeah, these are all games from 2018. This is horrendous podcasting. Is it listening, no, no, to no, J- no. listening to Jake going, uh, nah. well, uh, if he's struggling don't to find a triple don't, A, don't listen, listen, there's not, a, there's not, a, there's not a triple A in the top 100. Really? Yeah. So well, these were games. Justin. These were games that were released so in 2018. Like, so you get like a percent. The way that the ratings work, you get a percentage on based yeah. on positive versus mm-hmm. negative. Kind of like Metacritic style. Yeah. yeah. And, like and, weighted score. Yeah. And then. Um, so, 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 so an indie is going to get more of that, and it's going to get yeah. more like um, yeah. goodwill reviews and shit like that. Especially, so. especially games like RimWorld that have been out in early access, and then the development is going very audience. much the way that they want. Dead Cells yeah. released in early access like two years ago now. Mm-hmm. Subnautica has been one as well. So that just goes to show if you can, you know, uh, push your game where the fans want it to go, which yeah. is very much what developers promise when they are doing early access you know help develop yep. the game with us we'll listen to your feedback and crucially that will make the game go no, places well right. it can be done right it's yep. done wrong and we hear that a lot but when it's done right like rim world and shit dead cells we get games like that and we get reviews like that Thirty-eight thousand votes and 98 percent yeah positive tell so you what so nintendo yeah. eShop uh, really needs for the Switch, sorting really itself out, uh, it? ratings. Just get rid of ninety nine percent of the games on there. Mate. Well, do that and then add a rating system. Um, yeah, because be uh, that. that would be that would be very useful because there's nothing you've got nothing yeah. to go on anyway. Mm-hmm. So that's a complete side note. Uh, another bit of news that has caught caught my eye anyway is the twentieth uh, century Fox teasing a uh, new Alien game. Yeah, uh, hands up, who really liked Alien Isolation? I actually enjoyed what I played. A I bit. like half of it for the benefit of the tape. Only me put my yeah. hand up. Uh, I I really like the Alien Isolation. I fucking it's loved five it. hours too long in my opinion. Yeah, probably a bit of a dead um, redemption like, syndrome. There's a but. certain part of the game in Alien Isolation where if it ended there, I would have given it like such a high rating. That was a like, big consensus on the internet. Yeah, right. but then it, it kept going and yeah. it kept going and yeah. it kept going. Yeah, and I'm- it just. By the end, I didn't care anymore. I, 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 I love it. I loved it all the way through. And I loved, I love what's happened since, in that there's now loads of indie games set in first person where there's no combat, but you're in a space station mm-hmm. or you're underwater or something like that. And it's, I love that it's created this new... Uh, because, because you know, obviously there's games before there where running away... What's amnesia, the, amnesia, that's, that's the one. Mm-hmm. Where running away is the, the thing to do. Well, Alien Isolation had that, but it also did have... Mm-hmm. combat and it also and it, it had like this nice balance and it was a triple a game and it sold like all right so yeah. it proved that it could be yeah. you know successful what's really interesting about it right i don't know if you know this but um i remember video gamer did a thing about it right back in the day if you remember video Gamer, they yeah. i mean they still exist now well, this is a back in the day video game oh, okay, one, right, okay. and uh, <laughs> with different not everyone involved in it was different ah, okay, and yeah. um they did this thing pointing out the fact that Alien Isolation got like nines and tens in Britain, and it got like fours. And who gave it a five? Was it IGN? IGN, I think. Yeah, yeah, IGN cause, gave it because the AI was too smart and the game was too long. They were the two weak. Yeah, they get, so, so and then but then Video Game did <laughs> did uh, the, like a video saying, "Oh, they've just released the Alien Isolation America yeah. <laughs> American <laughs> patch," and it was like it just showed two of them looking at the screen. I think it was Burns and and someone else. And it was like just like all obviously explosions and like astronauts and the American national anthem and shit like that. Uh, I think it was Chris Pratt. It was freedom. I think edition. it was the uh, all around nice guy Chris Chris Pratt uh, who uh, yeah. who did it as who, well. Who went on to? Yeah. So the point is, anyway, yeah. Alien Isolation reviewed very well in Britain and it didn't review very well in America. In America. Um, so anyway, that's not what this <laughs> this yeah. is about. Um, I, I'm very excited about and this. And there might be a new Alien game. Yeah, is so it this... Alien Isolation 2? Probably not. But... Uh, well, I, th- I would be disappointed if they just put us two at the end of it. But, you know, even if it yeah. was the same type of game. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Even if it was like another sneaker thing. I just... I just... It, there's so many Alien like sub yeah. brackets and stuff. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna have like another Ridley Scott, God bless him. Yeah, <laughs> making them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so it could be a Prometheus isolation, could it? Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? So there's there's a the Prometheus <laughs> isolation. No, 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 Ridley. Don't. I hope he doesn't listen. I hope he's not a regular listener. <laughs> if you listen to Ridley, turn off, mate. Yeah. Uh, yeah so this this was a, this is all from uh, Twitter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a tweet on the official Alien Twitter account, um, which teases Ripley's. Um, Story based on Ripley's daughter. 
Yeah, who was the main character of the yes. Revitalization, right? Yeah. Is this the same one that, have you heard about in the movie Predators, they had the alternative ending planned oh, yeah. where she appears? Yeah. She, that's how it was going to end. If with, that film wasn't bad enough. With, with Ripley's daughter appearing. So, so maybe it's that's what it is. Terrible film. Don't watch The Predator. It's shite. <laughs> Honestly. Okay. It's so shite. at the end of The Predator, the film, the allegedly... That's in the new, the, the the new, new one, one that came uh, out. Yeah. End, sorry, not Predators. Yeah, yeah, The Predator. Allegedly, it ended with, with the daughter of Ripley appearing, and it was to start, you know, the... Uh, the crossover. The Predator-connected universe. Uh, and... Uh, predator cinema. I, I remember, Alien versus Predator versus... I remember versus seeing that name, and, uh, yeah, and Ripley's now... Daughter. We've seen that. So imagine if that's what that was. So it's like a really short teaser. It's like a 14-second yeah. thing, and it just says, read... Uh, watch play so it's yeah. yeah so whether it's going to be like some flipping Netflix Bandersnatch thing yeah or if it's going to be a new you know is it going to be like watch. a comic uh, it will TV be. show yeah, and a game be. or something like it's that it's going to be know? a CGI it, yeah. movie yeah, yeah. Um, I yeah I, I I would love if it was more It'll of be like a, Alien Isolation type book, stuff a but... five part um, anime short series on YouTube yeah. and a game yeah, that would be yeah. sick. If what? it was a game with better pacing, I'd be all for it. it you, you know, I, I think that there's so much scope for great alien games. This is this is the thing, isn't it? Like with aliens, colonial marines and stuff. Like all for years and years, this where you've it. just had like it, yeah. trash games, like yeah. absolute crap. The IP games. is like so full of potential. Yeah, mm-hmm. horror, yeah. sci-fi, original uh, yeah. creature designs and stuff. Yeah. So every announcement. Every game is another opportunity for yeah. a great one. Yeah, so exactly. that's why every time but there's an announcement, even if you doesn't matter how many shit ones there's been, each new one could be an opportunity for something good yeah. because, like you say, it's hard. I mean, it's not obviously that hard to fuck up, but I mean, it, it should be hard to yeah. fuck up that that great mix of sci-fi and, like you say, horror, isolation, darkness, yeah. weird I, creatures. And Alien Isolation is the closest it's ever gotten yeah. for me. Um, Basically, I want Dead Space, but with aliens in it. I think, <laughs> a, bit more, I think a bit more action and yeah. stuff. But, I still. Think, but you then, can do the whole thing where you like ragtag survivor, trying to use whatever you can to you know, fight a off third aliens. Third-person game like mm. that with that claustrophobic yeah. Yeah. thing could totally work. Because Dead Space is like owes a lot to like the yeah. first Alien film. Hundred yeah. 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 percent. Yeah, it's one of yeah. Dead Space is that one the of best Alien games. game that's ever been? I mean, in my, in my no, it's Alien yeah. Isolation. <laughs> Dead Space is uh, no, Dead I, Space I is so love, special. Thing, yeah, yeah, I absolutely love Dead, Dead Space. But I, I think um, whatever it is, I, I always have like a mix of excitement and anxiety with this alien yeah. stuff because it's like, who's which you way is it going to go? Way, yeah. But this is so like we don't really know anything. This is just a teaser, but it could be it could be like a new universe sort of thing. You know, you, like that's what it sounds like to me yeah. anyway. But there's there's other kind of speculations outside, but. I reckon, yeah, that that's the sort of thing. Comic book, you know, possibly uh, some some uh, multimedia. Yeah, a multimedia launch. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah, I'm ready for it. Just give it to me, and then I'll decide if it's good or not. Um, Leo, oh, maybe this yeah. year. Hitman. Yes. So Hitman is getting another HD collection, but this time it has Blood Money and Absolution remastered mm. in yeah. 4K, according uh, to this press release. Jake just went. Hmm. Tell me more, Jake. I don't know, mate. Blood Money was fucking good, on it? Contracts was just as good. That's like, the for me, like, you know, Final Fantasy Anthology, which is four and five. Yeah. Like them two are a perfect pairing. Absolution mm-hmm. and Blood Money seems unusual to me, but then Liam had made me aware that... They'd... I didn't play Absolution, but I know what the complaints are, you know, yeah. it's linear and whatever, yeah. and mm-hmm. story thingy like. That's what's unusual, yeah. Because they're not quite the same, are they? It's not the right type of game. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whereas Contracts and Bubbly were the same, the core, mm. same gameplay loop yeah. and stuff like that, but just lots of levels. But Absolution was a bit of a departure, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. So a bit that's more what, linear, wasn't it? Yeah. That's what's so it. What's it's, it's the equivalent of putting like Final Fantasy Nine and Ten in a bundle. Yeah. You'd mm-hmm. put eight and nine together, yeah, or yeah. ten and ten too. You know, you wouldn't put nine and ten. Oh, do you know what I mean? It just seems, mm-hmm. or six and seven in a bundle, yeah. That because it's, it's mm-hmm. weird, isn't I know it? What you mean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's why I'm, that's the only reason I'm like, eh. but it's because they they have they haven't ticked the boxes off this one. So have they, they? they're just put, putting it in the new engine, is that? In the... So it will have 4K visuals at 60 frames, increased textures, upgraded textures, super sampling. It's the better same shadows, games. better lighting. Updated controls, so yeah, it sounds like so it's more a remaster rather than yeah, it doesn't yeah. seem like the engine. Re- so it's not yeah. like with Hitman Two, 
where they've put the levels from yeah. Hitman 1 into Hitman 2. That this mean, is like that would a, have been, a straight up remaster. Yeah. This is. That would have actually been so sick. Yeah. <laughs> but because it happens yeah. now, they'd like Resident Evil 2. You know, that literally yeah. that is happening. Yeah. Uh, Resident oh, Evil yeah. 2 remake oh, using the Resident Evil 7 engine. Yeah. yeah. Playing some of those Blood Money levels in the Hitman 2 engine. But um, now it's just like a, just a. It is out game. very, very soon. Yeah. January 11th. Yeah, it's so worth it for actually, blood money. So. It's worth it just for blood money, and I'm sure there's a lot of uh, I, there's a lot of people that probably would have started on Absolution, and so they would probably argue that it's worth yeah. it for Absolution. If but, it's all, if it's put up for like a good price, like twenty, thirty quid, yeah, yeah. good package. Well, that. seeing as you we've just done that, then I'm going to change the order around, and we'll do new games now. Okay, because that's out on January 11th. What platforms did it say? PS4 and Xbox One, digital only. There you go. It says so you can enjoy that on January the 11th, mm. along with these other new games that are out. Nice. Also, all on January the 11th. <clears throat> oh, uh, Tales of Asperia Definitive Edition mm-hmm. is out. PC, Switch, yeah. PS4, and Xbox One. So this is a JRPG. Yeah, uh, yeah, quite a well-respected JRPG. Yeah, but not many people played it because it's not one of the mainstream ones, I guess. No, it, no. It, it it seems like it. It looks to me. I've never played it. Uh, it looks to me like if it's got you, a strong fan base. Yeah, yeah, if you love JRPGs, you, this yeah. is probably like one of the ones you need to. Take yeah. off sort of thing. Um, mm-hmm. So that's coming out on January the 11th. There's also a couple of Mario games on the same day. Uh, New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe is coming to the Switch. So yeah. this is a Nintendo Wii, Wii U game. game. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, like about seven people played it. So they've they've put this is another big <clears throat> Wii U to Switch port. But it's it's like a lot of money. It's it's fifty quid. Yeah, um, which is more than what it cost I'm when it came sure, out on Wii U. I'm pretty sure. Our, my, me and my sister had a Wii U, and I'm pretty sure it came with this. Right. The original right. version, like launched, like, yeah. bundled in. It's 2D. It's like classic Mario. It's the, style. It's the side scrolling, yeah. jump on the Goombas. Yeah. And it looks very, you know, I, I, know, I didn't play it, but you look at the trailer and stuff, and it's got all this like transformation stuff going on, and obviously all the creative Nintendo brilliance you'd expect. Uh, but it's 50 quid, and I was thinking of getting this. Um, but I think I'm just gonna have to wait for it because there's so this I've got a big list at this point of like Nintendo exclusives that are fucking well expensive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm Even just gonna wait. That's just how cheap. Nintendo are. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, so we'll see. Yeah, they games this, hold value. They do. But there's a couple at discount on eShop at the moment, like Mario Kart Eight is, yeah. is on sale, and they do, so they do bring them in. Mario yeah. um, Rabbids. Rabbids, which is a, not a Nintendo game, but that's fifteen quid yes. now. Yeah. Notice that's that, okay, you know, that's good. Yeah. Good price. Bad deal, so, yeah, so, wait until twenty twenty one when this is on sale. Yeah, exactly. So I'm, I'm gonna wait for that. Uh, also you've got Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Inside Story, plus Bowner Jun- <laughs> Junior's <laughs> Journey. Fuck yeah. On Nintendo 3DS. Yeah. Bowser Jr. is a very underrated Mario character. Okay, I know that sounds like a video essay. I know that sounds. I know that sounds like a fucking. Yeah, I was going to say that you pan in, you pen in yeah. a YouTube for, uh, thumbnail there. Yeah, wait till you hear my recent era thread on it. Uh, but Bowser Junior doesn't get enough props, and I haven't played the Bowser yeah. Bowser Junior's journey. I know you not I know this yeah. is going nowhere. Anyway, I'm just reading. I'm just visualizing the recent era post. Now. I fancy like, this. Now that you've said I that. fancy this. Maybe I'll get it. It's a series of uh, RPGs. It is the Mario and Luigi series. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really cool Superstar Saga was like that's like the one best known one. Yeah. This isn't on Switch. This is 3DS. Oh okay, well yeah. that sucks. Because yeah. what Ooh. happened was on your I actually played <laughs> the Superstar Saga on the GameCube via right. there was this little um, I can't remember what the hell it was called. Game, I Boy, it, player. game Boy Player, yeah, mm-hmm. of course, it's logical. And <laughs> you, you put the GameCube yeah. on it and you Bolted could, put, it you could the bottom of your that's GameCube. it, and you could put your Game Boy Advance games in it and play it. Oh, on the I remember screen. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had, cool. I had that on the Game Boy Advance, but I played it through the GameCube, and it was really cool because you could use your Game Boy Advance as a controller, and then it, very much like the Switch had a screen in the middle, and they've yeah. been pushing that for nearly two decades. Yeah, now. it shows that the ideas, the same yeah. the ideas, been and it was. Do you know what? Surprisingly, really good. You know, I had like that JRPG feel of yeah. random encounters, and you leveled up, and you yeah. learnt mo- different moves. I think you leveled. Except up by... you're just using Mario and Luigi. Yeah, and you leveled mm-hmm. up by drinking um, coffee beans like Starbucks. It was mad. Anyway, yeah. So this is like that. Well, of it's the 3DS launch, which is that still is happening. Yeah. Where they, they're not. Yeah. Why is this not on the Switch? I don't. I'm sure there's. I've been playing uh, the Luigi's reason. Mansion. 3DS port. I got that over Christmas. Right. That's been fun. Yeah. What, uh, why that... it's on the Switch, I don't know. What, yeah, because that was very recent. Was Well, quite recent, wasn't like it? Like October, November, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I remember the exact conversation happening at, at that time where there was yeah. like, why is this coming on 3DS and not mm-hmm. on the Switch? Yeah. I assume so, it's just because they had it already made for the 3DS, yeah. ready to launch, yeah. Yeah. and they just couldn't be... Fucking come yeah, on, let's bring them it over. It would have been better it. on the Switch. Yeah. Yeah. It works nice on the 3DS. <laughs> they, they must be planning on bringing them over, surely. 
Surely, yeah, it's got to happen. New uh, Luigi's Mansion or something will come with a collection. It's got to be. It's got. It's got to happen. Yeah. Um, they're porting everything, aren't they? They're porting stuff. If you're going to port like you know Wii U games, why not port 3DS games? I guess. I don't, I don't mm-hmm. know. Anyway, so that was the new releases which we brought in earlier this time. Uh, we have been chatting for 55 minutes. It's okay. But we do still have time for dear special moves. Now this is our our email segment. So if you've got a, a question or an opinion or anything you want to check out to us, anything you want us to discuss on the podcast, email dear special moves at gmail.com. We will read it and discuss it very much like this. This one is from Melville Comics. Okay. Melville Comics says, Happy New Year. Do you gents know anything about Little Devil Inside? It was reported to be dropping last year, then everything went quiet, as happens with indie games. Enjoy the tea. Uh, there was no actual, there was no tea attached to the email, so I thought. I think you know. he was assuming we would have brought tea to the podcast because we're British, Melville. Yeah, is that a bit of uh, no? I, I, we did actually have a tea pot here, didn't we? We did have a tea so pot. Yeah, so that's our own fault. Leaning into the stereotype. Yeah. Uh, so, does anyone know anything about Little Devil Inside? Yeah, it looked really cool. You'll you'll uh, you'll probably not have known it. Unless you looked at it on Kickstarter, I don't think it's been covered by any yeah. games things. I'm pretty sure PAX had it um, last year. No, sorry, 2017. And there was a big bit of gameplay put on. And I just uh, had a look on YouTube earlier at some more gameplay. It looks so promising. It looks mm. cool. But it's one of those weird Kickstarter things where it's raised about 5,000 backers or something like that. Right. And then it's kind of gone quiet. I don't know when the last update it was for this August 2018 and it was talking about one of the 12 members of the developers becoming pregnant so it was a bit more of like a vlog update rather than like right. the game update the graphical style is similar to something like Yonder or Ooblets or something like okay. that yeah. so and it looked like a very cool uh, RPG kind of looked like it had like a lot of dungeon crawling mechanics and uh, you know your generic crafting stuff mm. by bonfires but took place on this in this well the the gameplay footage I saw was in the desert, but when you go on the website, there's loads of different biomes. Yeah. Um, it's weird, though, because the website is crucially uh, promoting a Wii U copy of the game, which tells you a lot, doesn't it? Mm. If it says it's coming for the PS4, Xbox One, and the, uh, the Wii U. Hasn't been updated in mm-hmm. quite a while. Or at least the, the, the splash page hasn't, but, you know, yeah. I, I don't know what's going on. Maybe with. they're putting it on the Wii U for... I, for... For some reason, for so the they people. can port it. someone out there who still yeah. is yeah. holding out for their Wii U. You, you I imagine, Liam. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've still got some games I need to play on it. But... <laughs> I'll add one more to the file. Yeah, yeah. I've still got Twilight Princess HD to play. On it. I bought it and never started it, so got that, some Zelda to look forward to. That'll be a yeah. good Switch port as well. Zelda I did, HD I collection would be great on yeah, Switch. Yeah, it would be good. I'd anyway, like that the... Hard. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, the flipping uh, the games had no real updates, so I did have a look into this to see if I could well, get yeah, some answers. Yeah, it does happen with indie games. That's what Marvel Comics says, especially so. Kickstarter games. Yeah, exactly. and it's always annoying yeah. because it's always that weird sort of. Um, hmm, I don't know. Like people get a bit fearful that they've done a run with the money when it comes to Kickstarter games, and you never want to yeah. see it, but you do see it. And then this is one of those ones where not been updated there's 12 members of uh, the team working on a game one of them surely should take the reins when it comes to social yep. media or at least giving just people PR a just in communicate general. something yeah. exactly and <clears throat> I, I couldn't find anything after genuinely going out my way to look for it for about 5 minutes uh, and you know what I mean there's, yeah. there's no updates and that's weird because you should be at least herding them to pre-order it yeah. looks like so, a good game let's hope we see it so we know as little as you basically yeah, but thanks for the email um except we got um let's have a look uh this is from <laughs> this is from jeeps and trading uh, limited a company <laughs> <laughs> uh thank yeah. you very much for for your email guys i'll read it out now team jeeps and enjoy taking yeah, my- downtime with a special moves video it is a great moment of escapism from the analysis work that we do. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that they've got like an office, like an open plan office with a couple of computers, like with fucking database on, and there's a TV on the just wall, does. and they yeah. just turn the stocks off. To and just... now you're talking about that. Yeah. As they're watching. Hey, if you are at Jeeps and Trading, if you can hear me, take a picture. Why are you talking louder? 
Yeah. Jeep. Like if I can, <laughs> Jeepson. Like, like they're down the well. Jeepson, if you could hear me, take a picture of the office or something and yeah. just send us on Twitter so I can visualize this better next time. Um, if a room full of analysts are listening to me talking, that's going to be fun. Well, they, they, they want to know. Well, they want to analyze us because they are analysts. Um, they're asking, we are just as interested in the hosts as the content. So if you may indulge us with some information about your work lives outside of special moves, no need for specifics on company names. We aren't here to pry. Just curious about what you three get up to when not creating, as you put it, hypnotic gaming videos. I forgot about that. Is this a job offer? I don't think so. Uh, Many thanks and Merry Christmas to you and, and your audit. families, Jeeps and Trading. <laughs> yeah. 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 Are you paying your taxes? Well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much, Jeeps and Trading. Um, yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is HM Revenue and Customs in disguise as Jeeps and Trading. <laughs> the name they always use. Uh, yeah, we well, we kind of... Um, I work full-time, um, but that is changing at the moment. Uh <laughs> Basically, you've been offered the job by a different company and you've had to hand your notes in. That's what it is. Uh, yeah. Um, but it's... Yeah. It's, I don't really know how to explain it in a in a, in a a way that's... Uh, I don't want to speak too soon. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> basically, if your future colleagues are listening. Yeah. yeah. I was so, a, I was I'm up in the air in a moment, but I am working full-time. No matter what happens, that's that's what I'm doing. So, we, uh, we tend to record uh, on a Sunday... And like one of the nights of the week, so like you know, t- Tuesday evening, Wednesday evening, something like that after work. So, Jake, you work a lot of hours in a cinema. In a cinema, eh? Uh, I always work in a cinema. Um, which some of my colleagues listen to the podcast. Shout out Blake and the cool. boys. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I work in a cinema. Uh, it's quite a nice job. I just work with a lot of younger people um, yeah. who don't have as much energy. Uh, as me when it comes to talking so I just talk at people sell them really overpriced that popcorn that is how you deal with stuff isn't it? Um, so. yeah and I get to I get to watch quite a lot of films you know like when you're just checking in between the screens and stuff like that so I, I get to see and I, I always you get, get some good benefits yeah you? you do I get to I get offered to see films early a lot you know when we get the films and we can see it three or four days before everybody else like we had Mary Poppins like, like a couple of days early stuff if I want to see them but you know what I don't really use it because on my days off I'm yeah. either doing this or I don't want to go back to my place of work, yeah. spend a couple of hours. And after you've done a, sh- like, let's say you've done like an eight hour shift, you don't want to spend an extra two hours watching a film. Um, but yeah, so that's what I do when I'm not, when I'm not special moving around. I'm just fucking serving popcorn and uh, watching people. Oh, serving people Tango Ice Blasts, which is a huge point of contention in my life, which <laughs> I won't go into here. But um, yeah. And uh, I do a lot of people watching, like, because we, we're the, in North Wales, we're the only chain cinema. We're the only, like, cinema world, I mean. Yeah. Which is where I work. Uh, and so, like, because we have, like, the unlimited cards, a lot of people come here from all sorts of places in North yeah, Wales. Yeah, they've got that, like, yeah. eat, uh, you know. You pay a certain amount a month and you can see unlimited or films. Or you can at, eat cinema cards. Yeah, sort of it's that sort of thing. So, anyway, we get all sorts of people from North Wales. So, it's great to see the sort of... The different types of stereotypes in North Wales, you get people who like are from closer to the English border who are all like me. They have like this fake Scouse accent, very gregarious, low IQ. And you get people in sort of <laughs> the, the the Isle of Anglesey, which is on the west 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 yeah. side. The intelligentsia, the, the... <laughs> yeah, the farmers. Um, yeah, and, and the, yeah, and then you, you get all sorts of. And it's funny you can put a lot of them into camps. It gets to the point now yeah. where you know you don't want to stereotype people, but you you see a guy come in and he's wearing a big blue puffer jacket and he smells nice. Actually, you know he's going to get a tango ice blast and come and see Holmes and Watson. So I quite enjoy it anyway. Which is a very bad film. Yeah. I, 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 enjoy, I enjoy my job, but uh, I don't enjoy it as much as playing video games and talking about it with you lot. So thank you very much for supporting the channel via Patreon so I don't have to work full-time hours. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Liam? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when I am not special moving, I'm in between jobs at the minute because I just can't decide what I want to do. Exactly. And that's about it. When and you haven't got a mortgage, which is the key, true. The key true. differential. I, I don't yeah. have nearly as many bills as these guys have, yeah, yeah. or you know, like children to support, like Jake over. Yeah. So I'm in the fortunate position where I can support myself yeah. off of special moves earnings. And but, you, what you do in the big, the big special the, the, drive, the big. It? Well, yeah, because I finally got off my ass and learned to drive, which has been very fun. But other than that. Just keeping my eye out, seeing if there's any like little part-time jobs that pop up yeah. that I might want to do in the meantime. Because yeah. I just can't decide what I want to do. Do I want to go full-time like Mike and work in an office-type job? 
Or do I just want to like go part time, do something yeah, exactly. that doesn't really like ask a lot of me? Yeah, so that's what we do. We've we've got uh, me and Jake uh, working. Liam is doing driving lessons, but we yeah. have only been doing this for when did we start? August was it? September, I think. September. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been you know. It's been we're still kind of settling into it, I guess. That's the yeah. that's the way I'm looking at it. Anyway, I'm still trying to yeah. figure out the best way of doing stuff. Even, yeah. even the way we're filming things and stuff like that is still yeah. not perfect. That's not how I want to be doing it. So no, yeah, exactly. Think, you know, things things. And we are, need forty more ratings to get on the front page of the iTunes. Yeah, we're still figuring page, stuff out, which yeah, will exactly, really exactly. help us. Uh, so, do them do them reviews in it. All right, one more one more email. Thank <laughs> yeah, you very much, for Jeeps and Trading. Trade please <laughs> please send us more emails. <laughs> Because I love I the like fact this. that you, I love the fact that you emailed as a company as well, not as yeah, <laughs> not the entire as company is in their best interest. Yeah. That's wicked. No, this is getting you. sent to HR, and that's going to be sent as a mass email yeah. to all the employees. Yeah, that's, that's they just nice. gather around the one computer to say, "What yeah. do we ask them?" Yeah. That's thank, so dope, though. That's thank you very much for cool. uh, for sending that in and, and for listening <laughs> and watching on your breaks and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Lou. Yeah, Kenneth Roberts with the last email of the podcast something I always thought was something that would be an amazing remake for Nintendo would be Donkey Kong Country 1 to 3 in modern graphics full 3D levels mm. remade from the ground up would be good and would be something that could bring more people to Nintendo if done right like the way Spyro was done what a great game I can't I can't see that happening in the immediate future that's what I'm going to say uh, there's a bit more with that in mind what would you guys think would be a good game to remake and get the full treatment like Spyro, I, I don't know. I would be, I'd be pretty. If Nintendo did that, I would see that as a, a full remake of a Nintendo game. Three uh, Nintendo games, you know, given the Crash Insane trilogy type treatment, I guess. Um, yeah, oh, Donkey Kong Country is fucking good, though, isn't it? Yeah, I don't. I don't know if. Yeah, I, it just feels like that's not the way Nintendo do stuff. I don't, I don't know. I no, feel, I feel like they'd go just release it on like virtual console yeah. or whatever before yeah. anything yeah. i don't i don't think it needs hd to, collection it doesn't need Mini, to be yeah. upgraded the graphics are, are timeless for that sort of stuff it's like how pixel art stuff is donkey kong country's got that very weird style of graphics isn't mm. it yeah like not like quite cgi yeah type yeah stuff. exactly yeah like yeah i i think i think it's how aged very all, very how, well yeah it ages better because the ps1 because that's the one thing with the um ps1 classic it the, the games look horrendous i think mm. Be- because the snares mini it's just you you up res them fine but that's not that's enough with the snares because the games look great um, yeah when they when pixel they, art is timeless yeah, yeah. like mario yeah. kart on the snes yeah. is not very good that's but probably the worst one it's probably well the worst on the SNES. but what's the, what's that got going on it's 3d in it it's you're driving yeah. th- through yeah. a 3d yeah. plane Whereas when it's 2D, 3d on a console that wasn't meant to do 3d exactly and then ps1 Same with star fox yeah like but even PS, yeah, and Star Fox, even that was like you know, that even had a limited style. Like yeah. they, they just had like flat wireframe, white, yeah, wireframe and everything. Stuff. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it was just, everything was indicated with blue and red colors yeah. and really basic like primary color sort of stuff. And but then with a PS One, you're trying to put a game like I, I don't know, just like some. Any any PS One game that's meant to be three D, like if you play Medieval now, if Medieval was re released and not remade, mm-hmm. that shit. I mean, is... just Resident Evil Two. Imagine Resident if they Evil just 2. put that out in yeah, like exactly. yeah. HD, yeah. but didn't do anything else to it. Yeah, it just ages so bad. And the games on the PS One collection just did not look good in the PS One Mini. They just yeah. don't look good, and you can you can. You know, up res them all you want, but they're still they're still, they're still like mm. ass textures, and the performance isn't very good and stuff because it's you know a limited machine running. Through. Like yeah. Metal Gear Solid Snake doesn't actually really have a face. He doesn't have yeah. He's a, he's a he's got some like shadows for eyes and yeah. that's about it. He's a series of flat surfaces, isn't he? Yeah. He's not he's not like a <laughs> character like anyway. So whether would they remake Donkey Kong? They shouldn't really because yeah. but you can revisit like the old levels for, in Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze best two D platform of all time. Uh, and the music is incredibly well done, like nice little jazzy remakes and stuff like that. But the way it's even even down to the soundtrack, the original, it's timeless. It doesn't need it doesn't need a remake. I don't think so. Yeah. Sorry to disagree with the, the Kenneth. Right. I'm sorry, mum. What, be- what would e- you like to see remake? Easy, 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 easy. Two game, not three games. I'll do a two game one. Right. On. Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. The Game Boy ones. Yeah. Fully realized, like Breath of the Wild. Fucking sort of a 
Pokemon, mm -hmm. let's go type Did you scenario. Play yeah. A Link Between Worlds on 3DS. Yeah, where you could flip to the Dark World and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that was like. pretty much Link to the Past. Yeah, but, but 3D ish. But uh, I mean, like Breath of the Wild style. Ah, like, right, yeah, not top down, it. not like um, Fire Red and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Not, yeah, like how, how, how Let's Go is, but yeah. yeah. Um, Do you know what I'm going to say is not, not a request, but a prediction? Jack and Baxter. Mm. One, two, and three. Yeah. Or Jack yeah. 2. Ooh, you know what? I'd love to see Super Metroid, but done full 3D. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah. Done like Metroid Prime yeah. or something. Yeah, I'm surprised that. No I know they've got Metroid Prime 4 coming out. Yeah, but... imagine if that was just like a fucking that. That'd be good. really good. I, would, I don't know why I've stuck to Nintendo. Yeah, <laughs> Link's Awakening and Link to the Past. Like Breath yeah, of the Wild. Yeah, good, good, good requests then. Insane. Right. That'd be nice. Yeah. I reckon Jack within the next two yeah. years. Two years, yeah. Because you know we're just... running out of PS One games to cash in on. I Naughty Dog has no, spent not. now, aren't we? They? Won't we won't run out until they do Dino Crisis. <laughs> <laughs> we will not. Yeah, but I mean Naughty, they don't, they don't Naughty Dog plan, are like a bit. Do you know what I mean? Oh, we've got Uncharted, Nathan Drake collection. We've got Insane Trilogy. Oh, Naughty Dog wouldn't do it, would they? It would just be whoever. No, but no, their yeah, IPs to get in fucking redone, sent through the thing again. Sent through. And also that nostalgia that we're feeling, PS One kids, PS Two kids haven't felt it yet. I, I can no, I can, I just think you know it works like a treat with Ratchet and Clank and yeah. you know Crash and Saint Trilogy's happened and then if you combine those two facts yeah. into the mm -hmm. you know what I don't I think with PS2 games though is they hold up a lot better oh yeah yeah, like, yeah. but so Ratchet we, and Clank was fine but yeah. they didn't need to do that no they, I mean we got like Onimusha coming out soon yeah that's pretty much just the PS2 version yeah. with a yeah. HD coat uh, coat of paint oh no it. I'm I'm saying I I think there will be a Full on remake, remake. of. I think I think someone I could, needs to be brave. If, and maybe not the whole trilogy, but yeah. If they know. give Jack and Daxter like the Ratchet and Clank treatment, yeah, yeah it, that'd be cool. You know, I don't think there'd be much mechanical changes, and that's no. why I think like I'm thinking Link to the Past and Link's Awakening because that that's a sepia and black top yeah. down game with. You can only go up. You can get it every <laughs> instance, like minute. Yeah. Uh, you know, to Breath of the Wild, that is going to be like a mind blowing change. It's like. Um, Imagine what? they did it and it was just like minute and they just like doubled down. <laughs> yeah, minimalism. Yeah. Uh, you know, if they changed the mechanics greatly, like something like again, old school, like the Game Boy Castlevania and put yeah. that out, like fucking Devil May Cry or something like that. Shit like that is, is what I want to say. I'm getting, like I've told you before, I'm getting pretty bored of these fucking ones where there's no mechanical changes, just sparklier. Well, graphics. you know, you. you what does happen and has happened for a long time is like like Prince of Persia where there there was a two D game called Prince of Persia, mm -hmm. but then there's there's a new one that's just yeah. inspired, you know, it's a spiritual sort of mm. you know remake or something or whatever. Um, so I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't know what I'd like to see, but I, that's my prediction, anyways. Jack, Jack, have you got any um, uh, that you'd like to see? I don't know really. It's, there's a lot of game. Well, Dino Crisis, obviously. Yeah. That's the most. Is that seriously like your? If you could yeah. have any one. I, if you, I would like. You know what we're doing with Resident Evil Two Remake. You'd Just want do, that. Do that to Dino Crisis, yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. imagine the 4K Raptors. It'd be amazing. <laughs> That's all I want. Do you remember when we did that PS One thing? I was so happy. You know the, you know uh, the PS One. Like, what games we'd like to <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the bit where he's like, it says trapped or whatever on his back. <laughs> yeah. And he's like hacking away at the door. Yeah. It, that's like I was That's so Dino Crisis Two. Oh, the, sorry. Yeah, the yeah. footage of yeah, yeah. Footage but the, that to. that little clip was like. But imagine how better that would look in like the new Resident yeah. Evil engine. Yeah, man. That uh, engine is... As long as they maintain that level yeah. of, uh, yeah. you know, I, w I want exactly that thing to happen. I want someone with really high fidelity jacket saying yeah. trat on it, <laughs> chopping away at really high fidelity vines. If I remember I that, that stand, happen. what's that stand for? I don't oh, know. Remember. I don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> Just trat is perfect. Um, I think even it is trat, I don't know. It is trat, it is, yeah. <laughs> Having played that game many, many times, it definitely is. Okay, right. Well, on that bombshell. Uh, we should wrap it up there. Thank you everyone for <laughs> listening and uh, watching. Yeah. I was going to say listening and watching too. Listening to and watching the Special Moves podcast. This was episode 19. Amazingly enough, for the very first podcast of 2019. Can't ask for more. No. Please, God, remember to review us on iTunes because we only need a few more to uh, to get some serious help uh, when it comes to mm -hmm. promotion and stuff and we'll get more people listening to yeah. to this Shite. Bye. <laughs>